Early morning. <laughs> Surf clubs is the only thing lit up. Sunrise is getting there, but not quite there. Back to the early morning starts. Turn this around and see. I don't know. Will we be able to see anything? Maybe. Maybe we'll face this way. Anyway, let's get out there and have a bit of a paddle around. It's pretty dark, so you might not be able to see much, but you'll see me set up. Have the troll cam out as well, so you never know, we might get some footage. I guess we'll wait just a second, just the sun starts to peak over just a little bit more. Then we'll uh, paddle out and have a bit of a crack. Oh, come on, let's kick this season off. Sit here for a second. Pretty much zero surf. But I want to avoid any splashback. <laughs> here we go. It'd be nice if we could get out without being wet at all. <sighs> uh, this one's going to wet me a bit. Oh, look at this thing. Come on. Oh, that's wet. Turns out I will be getting wet. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> ah, let's just go. Charge him. Uh oh. <laughs> We'll have to wait a second longer. Once these only go on, we'll be alright. Alright, let's go. Quite a big channel here where nothing happens. You can see there's an outer break that's trying to peak up, but it's just not big enough. So it tapers down. <laughs> so not a bad launch. But I did get splashed quite a bit. set up just wrong with two pillies straight off the bat go with two pillies and then I did bring one of those fresh cord slimies hopefully that'll convert into something but I won't put him on until I get a bit further out just because I don't want to waste it on something like a bonito in close but you never know where they're gonna be so right. we'll get paddling in a sec so going dead baits gonna troll up a storm I don't want to, uh, got a new kayak coming, which is going to have a new live bait well. Ah, oh, come on. This is not going on very well. Um, so I'm going to put a bit more time into live baiting uh, towards the middle to the end of the season. Or after Christmas, because the kayak won't be until about Christmas time or after. But until then, we'll just try and get some runs on the board. In my family, for a family that eats fish probably like twice a week, we have been through a big stint. I've been either doing a trip away or, look at that. Look at that patch of bait. Jeez. If there's a bait in here like that, and there's warm water, I would like to think there's mackerel. But yeah, for a family that hasn't eaten any fish for a long time, we are pretty keen to get some fish on the table. So I will be keeping fish today, 100%. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. That pilly looks all right. A bit small maybe for my rig, but we'll deal with that. 
Let's have a look at him going through the water. He's not swimming, but he's pretty frozen still. He will do all right. He will do all right. He's definitely not spinning, which is good. All right. Let's get paddling. Look at this bait. Is that just bait? Is that fish? All right. Let's catch fish and then eat fish. Given the troll came along, so if I don't catch anything, at least I'll know what happened. See if there's anything on this on the screen. Alright, here we go. Came out here, had a drop for some snapper because nothing seems to be going on in there. Temp's gone up a little bit here, but pretty far out. Anyway, we're going to put this slimy on and we're going to troll home. And uh, yeah, if that doesn't work out, I don't know. Like there was plenty of kayakers in close, so either they'll be catching them and they'll let me know what I'm missing out on and I'll put some time in in there. Or uh, it'll mean it's pretty much shut down everywhere. <laughs> So we've got something on. Something took my slimy in the end as it drifted down. I thought I'd have one. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. I'm assuming this is going to be a snapper. Could be at least a semi-decent snapper. God, I've got to get some of these lines in. Come on. Come on. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, he's trying to pull, but he's not big enough. All right. Let's get that around there. At least we've got one out of the way. You stay there. Oh, okay. I'm assuming this is going to be a keeper of a snapper. So we've got something for dinner, which is important, but he's obviously not big enough for me to, to pull some real line. Took my slimy though. Well, it turns out that slimy is the primo bait, but it turns out it's a snapper bait in the end. Please be a snapper and not something. Snapper or pearly, snapper or pearly. All right, it is a snapper and it is a keeper. Not a monster, but. All right, all right, all right. And we'll do a little test. So I'm gonna do a test. I just tried to drop the plastic with nothing, with no luck. So we might just pop a slimy on here and just drop it down and see if we get some love. Goes to show you though, I reckon if I just got baits, if you just had a stack of pillies, you could probably smash them. Alright, we're giving it up. Just came through, plenty of bait, but no real mackerel. Ant got a little hit, but uh, I think it, uh, one of the guys out there just got a mac tuna, so maybe that's what's zipping around. There's heaps of bait there, but nothing really doing, so I'm gonna head in, I'm gonna take this snapper and uh, uh, think of something clever to do tonight for dinner. Mm hmm. 
if we've got any limes at the moment. Look here, I bought a few. So no limes. And we do have lemongrass. Ah, ah Bindi, son of a... Got a D-Bindi. Nice. Just want that big one. We plant these on the second one, two, three. We'll keep that one as well. Yeah, but we've got it. Yeah, well, we put that on top of the fish, but you've got to fry them up. You've got to fry this up and the fish up before you'll start to like it. Okay, so we've got a bit there. They're ready to be crushed. You can crush a little bit if you want. Put them in here. Chuck them in there. Get, make sure you don't leave them. What about that one there? All right, do you want to bang it? Try and make sure you get the actual lemongrass and not just Dad, the stone. Me do it. <laughs> Give it up already. Okay, we are back and we are in the kitchen and we are making uh, something that I've not made before, but I've had it in a restaurant and I've always wanted to give it a crack because it looked it was just so good. So Thai dish, we're just gonna do like a panang curry. I did Penang because it's not as uh, hot as some of the others and obviously the kids like oh dash smashes hot curries no problems now but Fox is still you know he's getting used to the spice so we'll add our chilli to taste after but we're going to deep fry some lemongrass so just crush the lemongrass just going to add some rice and we've got the snapper from this morning I'll uh, gut and scale that now and we're just going to fry the whole fish in the wok and then we'll, we'll, pre we'll deep fry this first fry the fish and then we'll have the curry already done, we'll just do that in a pot. So we can have that on the side and we can just put that on rice and then just break some of the, uh, oh, toast. Kids are getting some toast after school because they've got to feed them something while they wait for proper dinner. You saw all the ingredients I cut up. I like to put a little bit of potato in some of my curries just because it thickens the sauce a little bit. I know that seems a bit weird, but uh, a little bit of potato. I'm just going to put beans and I'm just going to have, actually, because I want some sweetness, I've actually got a... Uh, pineapple, so we're gonna cut up some pineapple and put that in the curry as well. So just the sauce is just to sort of put over the fish uh, once we've sort of got it all looking good and we can just drizzle curry over the top if someone wants it. So I guess we'll just keep uh, keep going. Yeah, I guess we better get the fish out. Not the biggest snapper, but a good size to fit in the wok and fry up. Just chucked him straight in the fridge this morning, so he's pretty fresh. Perfect wok size. So we're just going to gut and scale him, and then we'll just deep fry the whole thing in one go.
Yum. Okay, so we've got our fish. He's good to go. So we just uh, put a bit of scoring on him just so he doesn't curl up in the pan when he hits the oil. And a little bit of seasoning, just salt and pepper, but um, it'll make a little difference. Curry's super easy when you're, well, we're cheating. We're gonna use like a curry paste. Uh, I have made, like me and the wife especially, makes curry from scratch, but it's a lot of work. There's so much involved. And you just crush, you'll be crushing stuff forever. So we're cheating. We're just gonna get a Penang, Penang curry mix. Uh, you literally just chuck it in, add the coconut cream, add the ingredients in the right order, put the beans in last so they don't get all soggy and gross. So light olive oil, good for frying. You could use canola or peanut butter, or oh, not peanut butter, peanut oil. Um, but um, I'm just gonna go, we've got olive and it's because it's light, it's good for frying. None of them are particularly good for you at the end of the day anyway. So let's just embrace the deep fry and enjoy it. Uh, so I'll fill that with oil and then we're good to go. And I just gotta wait till Twine gets home and then we can actually cook. Get that fired up and the curry is cooking along okay tricks with curry I don't know if anyone cares but um, the curry pastes are never right okay so they never have the balance of flavors right so I reckon you always need to either palm sugar or I just use raw sugar this time because I or just brown sugar this time because I didn't have any palm sugar but um, palm sugar and then fish sauce so just add those two and balance it out so you think your flavors right um, I think it's really important because, yeah, very rarely do I get a curry paste and buy it and go, yep, that's nailed it, that's perfect. You always have to add a few things just to sort of, um, uh, jimmy it up just to, to you know, to your taste. And, you know, it's, they, they very rarely got the rest of the ingredients there to, you know, to, to balance it out. So once that's, uh, boiled away a little bit more, the potatoes are, uh, we'll thicken it up and also get them cooked all the way through. And then we'll just add the pineapple. And then we'll add the beans in at the last minute. Yeah, I think I'll call that a success. It actually came out really crispy and it's really nice. I think they must like, I think if you soaked it, maybe like next time I crush it, I think I'll soak it in some lime juice and sugar and like, and I think it'll make it even nicer. Like it's definitely a success. I think I can improve it because I think at least one of the restaurants I've had it is, it's quite sweet when they have it, but then mine's not that sweet. It'll be fine with the curry and it'll have that crispy crunch, but I think um, I think we can improve it. Anyway, we'll get this fish going. Uh, yeah, try and get back into the regular vids. It's good to catch this. Any second now I'm gonna catch a mackerel, so we'll do the mackerel vid soon. Blast out this snapper catch and cook. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good meal. Cheers. <laughs> Let's just go. Boom, boom, boom. Lots of beans. Dad? Mom. It's good? Yeah. Yep. Yummy. Good boy. Mm.